Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on an Ever After High doll that I'm making into a Dolly Parton. Before I get started on the doll, I wanted to unbox this amazing package from The Doll Planet. If you're not familiar with The Doll Planet, it's a husband and wife owned business on Etsy that sells doll hair rerouting supplies, tools, and a huge variety of some of the most beautiful nylon hair that you can find out there. They sell individual doll hair rerouting products as well as packages or bundles that are great for those who are just getting starting and started in doll customizing. So I'll make sure to put the link to their shop in the description box below so you can check out some of their awesome products, which includes this really cool small set of epoxy sculpt, which is great when you're working on dolls and need a smaller amount. And this kit of sculpting tools that I was so excited to receive. Thank you guys so much for sending this. I used it like crazy already and um, this is the set with the epoxy sculpt that I'll be working on the Dolly Parton with. They also included uh, a cute little button and how cool is this uh, case that the tools come in. And also another case, this is called their demolition kit and it comes with these pliers and some needle, no needle nose pliers and cutters and I'm telling you I really really needed this so I was so thankful you guys so much for sending this um, that's one of those round needle nose pliers I'm not sure what it's called but those are really good for doing like wire loops and then of course just the classic needle nose pliers which are always very helpful these were really nice heavy-duty ones and come in this awesome kit and then I think these maybe a lot of their newer colors and these are super shiny and I can't wait to use them. Um, I have, I still have a lot of their other colors, which are some of the most beautiful, like more matte color, colors that look more natural. And then these have like a, a super shine to them. Like they're, some of them look almost metallic. As you can see, I'm kind of moving the, um, moving the package around so you can kind of see that ultra shininess to them. Some of them are more matte, and I believe she sent me some of this like dusty pink color uh, in one of them that is just, yeah, there it is. That's a really one of my favorite colors that they have. So um, I don't think this is one of their new ones. I think it's just like a bestseller. But look at how cool that is. It's like a really neat coppery color. I can't wait, especially watching this again. I cannot wait to use some of these colors and I wish I had all the time in the world to just make all the dolls that I want to with these. But I'm looking forward to doing some rooting with them and maybe even making some wigs. So thank you so much again to the Doll Planet for sending me this awesome stuff and um, make sure you guys check them out. I'll make sure their link is in the description box below. So um, I use my, I guess I showed those gloves because I use my epoxy sculpt with my just bare hands and every time I do I get some sort of comments that I should be more careful and use gloves and I actually checked with the company and this is a certified non-toxic product and the reason that you should wear gloves with it is because it's uh, very possible that you could um, have an allergic reaction so yes you should wear gloves but I have used it um, without gloves for a long time and have had no problem um, allergy wise with it so it is perfectly safe to use without gloves as long as you don't have an allergic reaction so so what I did is I, I'm, I'm trying to enhance the breasts because of uh, Dolly Parton that's one of her main features and I just wanted her silhouette to be more to her uh, reflective of her figure so I just added it to um, two like balls to the front of the chest and just started started to sculpt it I wanted to just minimize the area that I was using this in because I it is really hard to blend so I didn't want to have to blend anywhere near joints so I did my best not to uh, blend that uh, blend in the clay around the joints or as little as possible and I added a tiny bit of water just to make it a little bit smooth and then the sanding the sanding just is um, the main part here I just sanded it down to just make sure that they were like perfectly round and um, and did some wet sanding until they were nice and smooth and so then you can see the dress that I made here just uh, I had to 
make the dress after I sculpted that so it would fit around her chest perfectly. So I just made a simple dress with a, sort of a, a shark tooth. I guess the shark tooth is a little different, but the, just a, a sort of a peak at the front and the back. It's one of similar to one of the dresses that she wore when singing with Kenny Rogers, the Islands in the Stream performance, um, but it was a more recent performance. And then I just went around and added these little beads for fringe around the bottom. For blending, uh, a tip here, what I what worked best for me, um, it didn't end up being perfect, but to help with that blending, um, I used a darker shade of like tan to, uh, and using, in past, uh, using pastel, I used a darker shade of tan to start with to kind of cover that gray and then toned it down with um, lighter colors, if that makes sense. So um, I did layer several layers of pastel and Mr. Super Clear. So I decided since every single Dolly Parton picture you could possibly imagine, she's smiling with um, her, uh, her mouth open, <laughs> I decided to use this Ever After High doll. Um, and I, when I put my dolls in my um, stockpile, I usually take all their clothes out and their um, and cut their hair and I don't know who they are so I'm not really sure what character this is but it's one of the typical um, lighter skinned ever after high dolls uh, in a special version where she's smiling I rooted her with this very soft uh, ivory alpaca yarn and then uh, glued it on the inside and let it dry before I put on her little turban to protect it while I do the face up. So for pastels, I use Pan Pastels and all of the products that I use are listed in the description box below. Uh, also a link to my Amazon storefront where you can uh, see the, the products that I use along with a small description of how I use them. And I do need to update that, I'm sure, but the basic products should be in there. I just haven't gotten around to going in and keeping it updated, so my apologies. But the the products that I use most are still in there. And uh, like I said, along with a description of how I use them. And if you purchase from uh, my storefront, then I get a small commission as well. So at the time I'm making this video, this doll is sold. Um, I do sell all of my dolls, so if you don't see something in my Etsy shop, more than likely it's already sold. But um, I do uh, try to get dolls in there uh, when I can. Um, I would recommend if you're looking to make a purchase of one of my dolls that you either get on my commission wait list by emailing me at scariosities at gmail.com or contacting me on social media on Instagram or Facebook and also follow me on Facebook and Instagram because that's where I usually release the dolls that I have just finished um, first. Since I was wanting to be really precise with how I shaped her mouth, I drew it out with pencil first, which is a little bit different than how I normally do lips, which is where I start with pastel. If you're a supporter over on Patreon, each step of my process is listed in the, um, in the library of rewards so that I have a demo for just about everything that I do, and that's available to the $5 tier and up and there are new ones each month.
And by the way, if you're interested in more in-depth learning, I have classes over on Skillshare that are great for beginners who would like to learn by following along like step-by-step in easy to follow lessons. So the links to that and my Patreon are in the description box below. So Dolly Parton has been on my list to customize for quite some time, and I was just kind of recently inspired to go ahead and make one. So I did her, I, I created this a month or two ago, I believe. Are you guys fans of Dolly Parton? And have you seen any other dolls of her out there? So a tip when I'm doing the eyeshadow is I use the pearlescent black because it comes out a little less harsh than just the regular. Uh, I'm using pan pastels here, but the pearlescent black isn't quite as harsh as the regular black. So I often use that for the black in the eyeshadow unless I'm really sure I need some really deep dark black. Just helps, um, it's a little less dangerous. <laughs> Well, here I'm showing where I found her uh, eye color, <laughs> and um, I'm hoping it's correct because it seems like every time I look up an eye color for a celebrity, I just don't really pay attention in real life to what color celebrities' eyes are. But every time I look it up, the internet has all different colors. Like, so you can see there, like some people were saying green, some people were saying blue. So, um. I think I ultimately went with sort of a bluish green. Now I'm just adding some eyelashes with my trusty Museum Aqu or my Art Grip Aqua Rel by Faber Castell because it keeps like such a nice sharp point. And then I gave her um, a few coats or like the few final coats of Mr. Super Clear. I'm often asked how to get the shimmer to stay, and how I do that is I'll give her several coats. And this is um. If you're not following the Doll Artist Collective on Instagram for Tuesday tips, you may want to give that a try because this is where I got that tip is that you spray it with all your final coats of Mr. Super Clear and then like then you once you're you know you have it really nice and sealed, then you add some of the shimmer 
and then one last coat to seal in that shimmer. So then it's still a little shimmery and you haven't just dulled it out with that Mr. Super Clear. I wanted to do something a little bit fancier with the highlights in her eyes, giving them sort of like a star look. And then I gave her some gloss on her eyes and lips and some lashes to finish it off. I also did a couple little tiny highlights on her teeth. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for being here and extra special thanks to my patrons. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. Thank you so much. Bye.